द टेम्पस्ट बाई विलियम शेक्सपियर द बर्ड ऑफ एवॉन इन एन आईलैंड फार अवे इन द सी दे लिव एन ओल्ड मैन प्रॉस्पेरो एंड इज ब्यूटिफुल यंग डॉटर मिरांडा देर दे हैड सेट अप देर होम इन द केव अ पार्ट ऑफ विच वॉज द ओल्ड मैन स्टडी दैट कंटेंट मेनी बुक्स ऑन मैजिक This magic had helped Prospero gain control over the island which was the enchanted land of Sycorax the witch. As Prospero took over he freed many good spirits Sycorax had imprisoned in the island. The chief of the good spirits was Ariel who was gentle and obedient to Prospero along with many others. An evil spirit was also there. His name was Caliban the ugly monster the son of Sycorax. Caliban was more like a deformed ape than a man but Prospero had taught him to speak and employed him as his slave he would fetch food and do most laborious work he would not do anything willingly so Ariel would always be around to tease him and force him to do all this thus with the good spirits obedient to him Prospero could now boast of great power commanding even the winds and the waves of the sea With the help of his magic one day he showed to his daughter a large ship with many people on board struggling against the wild waves his daughter Miranda was gentle and kind-hearted so she was sad to find the ship in such state about to sink she said to her father father if you can raise such a storm why can't you save those poor creatures from getting drowned Have pity on them and save the precious souls. Prospero smiled and said, "Don't get upset, dear. Not a single soul on the ship would be harmed. But I have done all this only for you. You are yet to know who I am and how I came to live in the cave here. When we came here, you were only three years old. I do not think you can remember anything for the day we arrived here. But I do, sir," said Miranda. Prospero looked at her and said, "But how can you? Does any person or house help you remember?" Miranda was a little thoughtful and she said, "It is like a dream. But uh, didn't I once have four or five women waiting upon me?" Prospero replied, "Yes, they did. And do you remember how we came here?" Miranda nodded, "No, sir, I don't." Then Prospero told her that he was the Duke of Milan. and Miranda was the princess he had a brother his name was Antonio he was fond of his studies more than the affairs of the state so he trusted his brother and let him govern the state in his place thus Antonio had all the power and he began to behave as if he was the duke he grew proud and greedy and soon began planning prosperous exile the king of naples was prosperous enemy Had Antonio asked the duke from power and become the duke of Milan in his place Miranda asked but why didn't he destroy us Prospero said because he dared not the people loved me too much and they would not forgive him for such a wicked act so Antonio made them leave Milan on board a ship and forced them to leave the ship in a small boat miles away at sea the boat had neither sails nor oars He must have thought they would get drowned in the sea. A kind lord put some water, food, and clothes in the boat, and he took care to put in some of the books too, the books that Prospero loved most. Miranda was sorry to hear all this, and she said, "I must have caused a lot of trouble to you, father." Prospero said, "No, my angel, it is because of you that the boats did not sink, and your smile helped me bear my misfortune with courage." Our boat carried us to this island safely and since then my only occupation has been to bring you up and teach you in my own way. Miranda thanked her father and then asked him why he had raised the storm. Prospero said that ship is safe now and with it the king of Naples and my brothers a cast ashore. Saying this Prospero made Miranda fall asleep for Ariel had arrived there to give him an account of the storm. and what he had done with the men on board the ship he told his master the son of the king of naples for the nanth fell into the sea his father thought he was drowned but he is safe not a single man on board is harmed they are all in the islands now they separated from the prince who 
was very near to the cave, all alone. Prospero told Ariel to bring the Prince of Naples there. But Ariel said, Would you require me to do more work for you, my master? You promised to set me free if I carry out your order faithfully, and now you should give me back my freedom. But Prospero reminded him that he had saved him from wicked Psychorax. He should not be so ungrateful now. I'll set you free when the time comes. Now bring Ferdinand here. Ariel readily went to bring Ferdinand and told him to follow him. Ferdinand only heard his voice but followed him to the place where Prospero and Miranda were sitting under a tree. On seeing Ferdinand, Miranda wondered if he was another spirit. She had never seen any man other than her father, so she was astonished to see such a beautiful creature before her. Her father said, He is not a spirit, my love. He is a human like you. He was in the ship and now he is alone, wandering in this island in search of his lost friends. Ferdinand too was surprised to find Miranda there and he took her for a goddess who lived in that enchanted island. But Miranda told him that she was a simple maid and she lived in that island with her father. Prospero saw that the two were very much in love with each other. And that is what he desired, for he would like to see them married. But he must taste Ferdinand, so he made him a prisoner in the cave and bade him work hard like a slave. Miranda was sorry to see him carry wood, which no prince was used to doing. She tried to help him and in her father's absence bade him take rest. Prospero was happy to see them get closer in their relation. He heard Ferdinand say, If I do not finish my work and disobey your father, he would never forgive me. He was pleased to hear this, for now the prince was truly in love with Miranda. He left them alone and went to the other part of the island, looking for the king of Naples and his brother. In the meantime, all sorts of comfort has been arranged for them. Ariel was looking after them. Prospero had a mind now to forgive them. They had already suffered a lot and Prospero knew they had atoned enough for their wickedness. Ariel reminded them of this sin and they were made to see how wicked it was to drive out Prospero with his innocent child from Milan. Alonso the king and Antonio were surprised to hear the voice of Ariel narrating the tale of their misdeeds and they were truly repentant now. So now Prospero commanded Ariel to lead them to his cave. They were soon brought before him, but they could not recognize the duke in his magic robe. Prospero told them who he was and how shabbily he was treated. Then he took off his magic robe and now Alonso and Antonio recognized the duke. They begged his forgiveness and promised to restore his dukedom to him. Prospero forgave them and said to Alonso, As you have given me back my dukedom, I too must give you something that will make you happy. Saying this, he opened the cave door and Alonso saw there his lost son sitting with Miranda. He cried in joy as he saw Miranda. He concluded that she must be the goddess of the island. But Ferdinand said, No father, she is human like us. She is the daughter of the Duke of Milan whom you have wronged. The Duke is to be my father soon for Miranda is going to be my wife. Alonso said, And the marriage makes me Miranda's father. But I must beg her to forgive me for all the wrong I have done to the duke. Prospero told the king to forget the past. Now he arranged for a feast and all his guests enjoyed the feast. But they were surprised to see Caliban, the ugly, cre the ugly creature who was made to serve them. Soon after this, they all returned to Italy in a ship that was taken for lost. Faithful Ariel preserved the ship and its crew. They were discovered only when it was necessary for the voyage. They all rejoiced and sailed for Naples where the king wished to solemnize the wedding. Before Prospero left, he had freed Ariel and buried his books of magic. Please like, share and comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.